Hello, happy Friday. It is officially February and let me say I recorded this in like November maybe. Um, so I got these markers for my birthday. It's the skin tone set, like a hoo-hoo skin tone set. And I was like, oh my God, this would be perfect for houses. And the person who gave me the markers is actually whose house I'm drawing. So I'm not gonna name drop. But thank you for the markers, and I hope you like your drawing if you ever happen to see this. Um, anyway, I was so shocked because I was like, okay, well, I have the colors to do this house. Like, I have the perfect colors, but I've never done a house in marker portrait, like, in markers before. I've done homes in acrylic. I've done them in watercolor and ink and graphite. I have never done them in markers. So I was kind of, like, quaking in my boots. I was like, I might be a little bit over my head here. But I was not, it came out so good. I was so nervous at first. And also, I'm not used to like, mark, like I'm not a marker artist. This was very like new to me. And this is like my first time ever having a brush tip marker also. So it was a lot of like things working against me. So I'm glad I was able to like pull it together because there's a lot of aspects working against me here. Look at that shading though that looks so good and like the blend oh my god the blend is so nice i love the way they blended together for this house i was so shocked i did not expect it because i before this i mostly had um like the fine tip ones with the chisel nib i did not have the brush nib and i was like oh my god this brush tip is life changing it is astonishing oh my gosh i was missing out i understand the hype now they're so much easier to blend oh my goodness i was really like severely missing out yeah so anyway i, I was astonished with using these markers and i was so excited that i could like erase with the colorless blender because there were some parts that like i forgot a highlight here and there and then i was able to use the colorless blender and make it a highlight which was sick yeah so anyway to sum things up, I love these freaking markers and the skin tone set is so good for like so many other things. I needed these neutrals, okay? I am a neutral person. I I want to say that I use color, but I feel like I don't use very vivid bright colors that much. So I feel like this was like much needed in my marker journey. Um, this grass though, oh my god, it took so long. I, uh, Oh, that's the one thing I was nervous about with these markers because I was like, I don't know how to go about making grass with markers. I killed it, um, which I know I'm like patting myself on the back big time here, but I'm very proud of myself. So I went in with a chisel nib and then I painstakingly went through and made a million blades of grass and it was so boring. I wanted to cry. I was so... Like this whole time, I was like, oh my God, this is the most boring thing I've ever had to do in my entire life. I'm, that's like, I don't know how many blades of grass that was. It's a lot, okay? And then there were shadows from the trees. So I had to go in with an even darker and more vivid green to mark in those shadows. So that's what I started doing here. You can kind of see the shadows of the leaves from the trees. And I was like, oh my God, this is never ending. This grass is going to be the death of me. And then I was like, oh my God, it's not even coming out how I want it to come out. But it came together, okay? It came together. Thank God, because I was about to lose my ever-loving mind with this grass. I was on the verge of tears because I was like, oh my God, I think I just ruined this entire piece with the grass. But then I went in with this like yellowy color and I was able to tone down the green a little bit. I added some deeper shades of green. It worked out. I was very happy that it worked out. It needed to work, okay? Because if it didn't, I would have probably lost it because the top part looks so good and like, I mean... I know I'm patting myself on the back again, but the house looks so good right now. And I was like, if I ruin this, I'm going to be very highly upset because this is also a Christmas present, okay? This was my Christmas present to who gave me these markers. And I was like, I want this to come out so good because I've never gifted them a painting before. And I wanted the first painting I give them to be really nice. I didn't want it to be like ugly, okay? I wanted to prove my artistic skills, which I know is a little bit ridiculous, but I am a self-loathing perfectionist and sometimes I just, I need a win, okay? And this ended up being a win in my book. It was a win after. Yeah, so anyway, doing any nature with these markers the entire time I was 
terrified because like the house is easy like it's it's lines but doing this nature and trying to simplify it enough to where i'm not painstakingly doing every leaf and every vein in the leaf but also making it detailed enough to where it doesn't look like a five-year-old drew it it's very difficult okay so i went in the background and there were some trees in the background i was like i need to use like a bluish green so that it blends a little bit more and then that way it's not like i don't know like in your face like i wanted to make sure that there was a difference between the front tree and the back trees and it was just really hard but it came together in the end like i said i am really proud of it um and then i did all the little bushes and the bushes are kind of like less detailed but they were like farther back and you couldn't really see much of the detail in the bushes from the photograph i have so i was like okay well i i think it's okay if i just i kind of doodle in the bushes like because i don't know a better word also oh my god so if you don't know this if you've never used brush tip markers or any markers really they kind of um at least with the paper i have they kind of bleed out so it's not extreme but it's enough to where it's like you can't get super thin lines no matter how lightly you press because it will kind of the ink will spread out on the page so making this windows at first it was destroyed it looked so bad and then i went in with a little white fine liner and i fixed it thank god and i went in with some white pencil and some black pencil and i added those shadows and oh i am so proud of myself i'm patting myself on the back thank you to me because i needed this win look at that i'm so proud of myself i hope you enjoyed this video and i this is a win i booked myself a win so thank you for watching through um i hope you enjoyed it and have a nice day